Welcome, Simon Weiniger. Delighted to have you here for your show, Bones of America. Thank you, Anne. I appreciate it. This is a special show. Tell, it is. Tell yeah. me about it. Uh, Bones of America is really about the, the character and uh, the history of these barns. Uh, y you know, it, it's about the people who built them, the history of, 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 of America, where we came from and, and, and where we're going. Talk a little bit about how you approach something like this. Do you take photos? Did you go out in plain air? It meant a lot to me to not, to not rush these paintings. Um, there, there's a lot of layers, there's a lot of textures involved. Some of these barns I did on location. Uh, I would go in and, and plain air paint them. Uh, but more than, more than that, what I would usually do is, is do a study, do a sketch, take some photographs, bring it back to the studio, and really sit down with, with the barn um, and, and try to understand it, try to figure out what, what was important about it, what, what I really wanted to say about each one of these barns. Each one is unique and each one is special. And I, I wanted to make sure that they were unique and special. I've seen growth in the seven, eight, nine years that I've known you. Uh, very much growth and experimentation, even I wouldn't say abstract, but you've done some landscapes that almost have an abstract feel. Yeah. Where, do you, where does it all come from and where do you think you want to take this? Because you're supporting a family with your art. Yeah, well, I think some painters, they stick with what they know. Mm -hmm. they, they do it, uh, the same thing over and over. And um, that does well for a lot of people. I just feel like that's not where I want to be. That's not who I want to be. Okay. I think. I would like to continue to progress. I would like to continue to push and, and be better. You know, this, this barn behind us here, uh, how much abstraction of form um, this barn actually pulls out. These, these so. hard, sharp shadows, right. these really interesting uh, holes through the barn and, and these dark shapes. You can tell the guys that know what they're doing, right. that break the rules on purpose and have a reason for doing it rather than those Which separates who... separates them out from the very much mainstream, so. and that makes them exceptional, as you're doing with this. Are you painting every day? Uh, yeah, it's, it's day. more than a full-time job. Okay. So you head to the studio, and sometimes you know what you were working on, like the barn mm -hmm. exhibit, but sometimes blank canvas and think I'll try something today. And I, try to, I try to stick to my roots. I always come back to the landscape. That's, that's kind of where I, I, I've come from. Because you've grown up, been raised in, and uh, grew up in Salt Lake area. Uh, outside the Salt Lake area. There's been a lot of, uh, kind of an agrarian area. Right. When I grew up, there was a lot of barns and then they started to disappear. Um, which I think is one of the reasons that, that barns really struck a chord with me. Yeah. Are you working with anyone or just on your own experiment? Uh, not any one person right now. Right. Occasionally I'll take a workshop. Somebody actually told me once, one day he was he was painting a, a meringue pie that had these interesting good. peaks and stuff. Right. And he said, you know, I'm not a landscape painter, but if I understand the landscape, this meringue pie suddenly becomes a mountain and these are peaks and there's shadows That's that are it. cast. And, and, you know, I can understand and incorporate other philosophies into what I'm doing. Do it, sure. I feel like if you're not, uh, doing what's important to you, that eventually it's, it's pointless. There's, there's really no reason to be doing it. My little slice, while you know, I think it's extremely important, and, and hopefully I, you know, I can get others to feel like it's, it's important as well, right. is just a little piece of, of this huge art world. And there's a lot of great stuff out there. And there's, there's, ro there's room for everything. There's room for everything. Yeah. There's a lot of wall space out there. Yeah.